Good morning and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. It is very, very early, 4.49 a.m. And I actually did not stay up, but I probably should have because I think I've probably got about two hours collective sleep. I couldn't fall asleep, big surprise, and then I couldn't stay asleep. I guess I kept worrying that I wasn't going to wake up because usually if I just get a few hours sleep, it is harder for me to get up, but I was going to try my best to get a little bit of sleep because I am about to run a half marathon. It has been a while. I'm pretty sure it's been about four years. If you're new here, I used to run them all the time. I think I have a playlist of all of my halves, so I will link it somewhere on the screen. But my goal was to run a half marathon in all 50 states. I have nine states, and I'm pretty sure my last one was in 2019. And today is in Chattanooga, so obviously I've done a ton of Tennessee, but I want to start my states back next year. So I wanted to do this one to kind of see where I'm at and see if... It is still possible for me to run a half marathon and I'm very excited. I just hate that they are so dang early because I'm not a morning person and sorry for this weird angle, but I am trying to get ready and just thought that I would talk to y'all while I was getting ready. Yes, I'm doing makeup for a half marathon. It's so cold, so it should stay on just fine. <laughs> And I wasn't sure if I was going to film this because it is still November and I know that day one with the lighting of the square and all that in Georgia was also November but it was Christmas themed and this is pretty much Thanksgiving themed because it's called the Hungry Turkey. But since I'm going to start doing my races again next year I'm going to be vlogging those again. And, I mean, I think I've said this before, and it's a good chance that I will say it again since it's early in Vlogmas. I don't do a whole lot, so when I do do something, I like to film it. But I'm going to finish getting ready because we need to leave in about 10 minutes, and I still need to make my water and breakfast and get dressed and all that. I'm just wearing a hat because my hair is dirty. So I'm going to do my little pigtails. Call it a day. And I'll see y'all in Chattanooga. Okay, we made it to Chattanooga. It is very cold. My watch said, I think 41. But hopefully, I will warm up soon. I got my little hand rechargeable hand warmer and I'm headed to get my packet and find a real bathroom so I don't have to eat the water party. Okay, I'm at 10.37 and my hips are starting to hurt. I was doing so good too. 
I was staying with the 215 pacer. I think at least halfway, maybe a little over halfway. But I know it's been an overachiever. Would this be my first half back in, I think, four years? I think I already said that probably multiple times. But I really like this route. So at least I've had a nice steamer. And this is a nice little trek when I have to come back and run over here some. It's so pretty. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't be sweating because I'm sweating and I can't take my shirt off because well you can't see but I have my bib on it so I can't take it off and I can't roll these sleeves up so I'm just gonna have to sweat. But it's not too bad. But I'm gonna shut up and try and get back to running. Less than three miles to go. I can do it. Home stretch on that street bridge. because I know the next day I need to start a new one but it was quite an eventful night when we got home from my race and I realize now that I didn't film anything after the race but I, I have to tell y'all about our eventful night for my race I am so dang proud of myself because it was a new PR for me and I think I've said this before but just in case I haven't I have never been someone who cares about my time if I have a good time of course I'm happy if I finish that is good enough for me well I kind of have the time bug now because according to my watch I finished in two hours 20 minutes and 30 seconds and I'm kind of bad at myself because I had to stop and pee. And that two minutes I was in the bathroom, I could have been under two hours and 20 minutes. But I'm still so proud. And it's crazy what happens when you actually train. Back whenever I was doing them regularly, my training, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but if you know me, you know my training. I would start running about two weeks before the half and my long run would be like five miles, sometimes six if I was feeling crazy. Yeah. And then I would go run 13 miles. <laughs> and so this time I actually, I've been running pretty regularly, but just about two, sometimes three miles. And so I knew I wanted to do this race. So I was like, okay, I'm actually going to try and do it right this time. So I started out doing, I think I did like a four mile through the week. And then I did six, eight, and then 10. So I did 10 miles last weekend. And that's what kind of made me hopeful for this half because my time was pretty good. I think I was right at two hours for 10 miles and I walked one of those miles. Like I walked the whole entire time. So I was like, okay, well, if I did two miles or 10 miles in two hours, walking one mile, I just have to add three more miles. And if those are 10 minute miles, that would be 230 right on track for my past races. So I'm just like running along and I see the two hour and 15 minute pacer. I have never ran with a pacer before. 
I don't try and stay at a certain pace myself. I just run. And then before I would just walk through the water station stations, drink my water, and then just start running again. And then if I needed to walk, I would walk. So I didn't really have set time. But as I was running, I realized that that was kind of my pace and it felt good. I was feeling good. And then I saw the 215 pacer and I was following right along with her. And I was like, okay. And so we went a few miles and I saw that it was about a 10 minute mile. I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try this out. So I stayed with the 215 pacer for half of the race. Actually, I think maybe a mile after, but then I started kind of slowing down a little bit and then I had to stop and pee. I was so upset that I had to pee. I'm still so, so proud and I wanted to show y'all my race swag. But it's at home. Obviously, I'm in the car, but I will show y'all a different day. But y'all did see the medals. I shared them on the table when I first got there. Really quick because since I'm in the car, I could ramble on for however long my trip is and y'all don't want to hear that. So, we decided to buy TVs. I had kind of been wanting one for the bedroom because whenever we first moved in and we're getting our internet and TVs and all that, I was like, I do not want a TV in the bedroom because I can't sleep. It has to be completely silent, except now I have to have rain sounds. But it has to be silent, it has to be dark. I cannot fall asleep with the TV on. Lately, I've kind of been wanting one because I watch TV in the living room and then sometimes I want to lay in bed. I was like, no, I don't need one. He's like, well, if you want one, now's the time because of all the Black Friday deals. And I'm like, well, okay. So, I got a TV. Well, then he decided he wanted a new TV for his man cave. And we get it. So we get both of these in Chattanooga. Got mine at Target, his at Walmart. In Chattanooga, which is an hour away from us. Get his TV out of the box. It has a crack in the screen. About this big, a circle right in the center at the bottom. And we have no idea how that happened because the box wasn't damaged, the styrofoam wasn't damaged. We seriously have no clue how that happened. So, we box it back up and we do not want to drive all the way to Chattanooga. Plus, they didn't have a TV because he got the last one of that one. So, we call the Dunlap Walmart, which is about 25 minutes from us. And we're like, hey, we just got this TV in Chattanooga. This is the last one. It's busted threw away our receipt by accident. Is there any way to pull up our receipt and exchange it? Like, I don't want a refund. I just want to exchange it. It says y'all have the TV. She's like, oh yeah, we can look it up by your card. So, for future reference, if you accidentally throw away your receipt at Walmart, they can look up your purchase with your card. So, keep that in mind. Get at home, put his up, put mine up. Everything was fine with mine, thank goodness. But we had the target receipt, if anything were wrong with it. So got mine up and then I was starving, so I wanted to eat. And then I soaked in an Epsom salt bath and then I took a shower to wash my hair and I needed to shave my legs because I'm taking more pictures. My today, y'all's probably tomorrow. And last time I had on dresses and skirts and rompers, so I thought I better shave my legs. <laughs> Even though it's no shave season, <laughs> I'm going to shut up rambling because it says I've been rambling for 12 minutes. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed seeing my comeback race. It was a really good one. The weather, it was really cold starting out, but it ended up being a beautiful day and I started getting hot but not too hot so it was really good weather and now I'm so excited to start my states back next year especially now that I know 
215 is doable. That is my goal for, I'm hoping to do the Charleston race in January. And so that is my goal. And this is the first time I'm actually setting a set goal. I want to do two hours and 15 minutes or at least under 220. I would be happy with under 220. So that is my goal. I'm actually gonna like continue to train and get better. I'm getting excited and 2024 is gonna be such a good year. Shut up. And this vlog is about to start the new one. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.